Back with us now, former Homeland Security Acting Secretary Chad Wolf. It's always great to have you on, sir. Okay, we've got seven House Democrats defying Nancy Pelosi, going to the border to look how it's in collapse. Pelosi is saying it's on a good path, but it's at a 15-year high in illegal crossing. So we've got increasingly Democrats stepping up. What do you say to that? Well, I'd say good for them. Uh, you're going to have Democrats probably along the border that are in border districts trying to figure out what exactly is going on and what are some solutions to the crisis that we're seeing on the border today. And what we know is this is a direct result of President Biden tearing down effective and proven strategies and policies that kept the border in check, kept a crisis from occurring throughout 2020, uh, and did not replace that uh, with anything once he tore the migrant protection protocols or the Remain in Mexico program down, the asylum cooperative agreements, and a number of other measures. And so it's time that they start to really understand and get real and try to fix the problem uh, of that border at the moment. Yeah, you know, to your point, Vice President Kamala Harris, she's the border czar. She's supposedly studying the root causes. As you say, the root causes, you wiped out Trump's policies that were working and didn't replace them. So now there's chaos. Now they're talking about, hey, federal workers in other government agencies, can you volunteer at the border? You, government worker at NASA, can you go work at the border? Border Patrol is also in chaos, being pulled off their jobs at the border as criminals and bad actors try to cross in order to watch over overcrowded facilities. Complete collapse and chaos. Yeah, absolutely. I think what we continue to hear uh, which is concerning is obviously the root causes of the migration, which I think are important, but you can't solve the problem by alone looking at, at those. And then we continue to see more and more reception centers, more and more uh, funding and resources thrown at this. What they are not doing, what they just refuse to do is actually enforce immigration law and address the illegal activity and behavior. Uh, they continue to send signals that it's okay to come here and seek asylum, knowing that 90% of folks that do don't qualify for asylum. It's a very inhumane uh, policy. It's a very dangerous policy, and we see some of the results of those on some of the video of, of, of children being thrown over a border wall or a, uh, a nine-year-old child being left out in the desert by themselves. This is having real consequences of co uh, continuing uh, to incur or, or, or su uh, suggest that folks should come to the border when, in fact, that's not the most humane policy. Yeah, and even children reporting that when they legally cross that human traffickers and drug traffickers assault them. This has been the reporting at the evening and for four years. You do it illegally, you're putting yourself in danger. Be safe. Go to the ports of entry. Do it legally. And if you do it the wrong way, you're going to get hurt. And so now the root causes, does this also mean throwing tens of millions of dollars and U.S. taxpayer money to people in Central America? Because watchdogs say corrupt officials historically pocket that money. And Kevin McCarthy, Republican, says this is an insult to Americans out of work. We get trying to fix a problem, but is tossing money at the problem? Is that in Central America? Is that the way to fix it? I think some resources to those countries to help them build up their capacity uh, to provide some economic opportunities is a good thing. To build up their asylum uh, agreements or, or process is a good thing. Uh, what has been reported about sending checks uh, to families in the Northern Triangle is a terrible idea. Obviously, that's not going to stop anything. You're going to continue to see the flood of illegal migration across our border until you get serious about enforcing the law. We saw that in 2019, and it's so frustrating um, that we went through this in 2019, and we saw the result of not enforcing the law and then, and then putting policies in place that provided a deterrent to ensuring that folks could not simply walk across that border and remain in the U.S. for months and months and up to years at a time. And we've yeah. just we've gone directly back to that, and you see a crisis of uh, historic proportions that we haven't seen in 20 years. Yeah, we hear you. I mean, the Biden team talking about getting private sector companies to invest in Central America, maybe that will work. We don't know, I mean, if that will work. But we'll stay on the story. Chad Wolf, you're terrific. Thanks for your service to our country. Come back soon.